Hello and welcome. I'm here with Andia and we're here to talk about um, about our relationship with control and a beer's beautiful sermon today and uh, so grateful for you um, a beer. So thank you so much. Yeah, so any any thoughts you'd like to share, Andia? Yeah, I mean overall I really resonated deeply with the the topic of today's sermon. I really feel like um, surrendering to God and becoming aware of very like subtle places where I'm still like holding on to control. It's been a journey. Um, but I feel like that's kind of been like the theme in my life lately. Um, one thing that really stood out to me was what Laura said about just like surrendering attachment to like what her kids are choosing. Sure. Um, yeah. Like who her twin flame is, what her twin flame is doing. And, you know, I, I feel like in my own union, there's just been a lot of like really subtle fear of, you know, just like really deeply surrendering. Um, fear like of- Like what it looks like on the outside. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, and just like having faith that, you know, the God within my twin flame, you know, within his kids, within all of these, um, you know, like people that I hold dear in my, my life, like, like just letting go of control and like really allowing love to just like my own love to guide me and knowing that other people will be guided in the same way because, you know, we all love each other, but like, there's just so much fear I'm realizing about just like being loved and no, and trusting in that, like having faith that, um, you know, love is real and it does, <laughs> it does always win. Um, and so just like, you know, like needing to like control, you know, just like very like interactions, like how I speak, uh, to my twin flame or how I talk to the kids or, you know, like something like that, or even like everyone in my life, really like my friends, coworkers, um, like the way I express myself, I didn't realize like there's like some fear around just like fully loving and expressing and knowing that, you know, I'll be received. And if I'm not received, like, that's okay <laughs> too, you know? Yeah. Um, so I don't know that that's really what like started coming up as soon as Laura uh, was talking about her own life. And so I really appreciate her sharing that. Um, yeah. It just like, it made my heart light. <laughs> yeah, no, that's beautiful. I've been working through something similar, like with my daughter and just really trusting like trusting her to choose and really just trusting that like she's she's going to choose a beautiful vibrant life but I think part of it is is really like like living that way ourselves I think I struggle a lot with surrendering too um I, I'm kind of working through some family dynamics that were like not so loving um I was just uh reading the book um adult children of um immature parents and mm -hmm. I'm and giving so much clarity with some of the dynamics in my family and then also um kind of like how to navigate that and like how to uh you know how to move forward with this new awareness like I can't necessarily control how my family responds to uh, my choices specifically like really like I love this community so much it's such a big part of my life um and like, I can't really control what they perceive and what they, um, cause they're not really even close enough to me to see the growth in my own consciousness. So they just see me kind of reacting and setting boundaries. Um, and so like, anyway, this weekend it was in the book, it was talking about how when you're in situations, uh, it's really important to like really be observant and just really be aware. Like you don't have to be enmeshed, like in the pattern. You don't have to fully be like emotionally invested 
Um, and I think for me, that's probably has it's rooted in control, like really wanting to be loved by these people, like unconditionally, not just like how they want me to be, but you know, um, and, and then it also talked about in this pattern, like, you know, being mindful of not allowing yourself to emotionally be like drawn in because when you do, that's when you're, you can kind of get the same patterns will happen again. And that literally just happened. Like I just finished this book on the way to the summit. And then this literally just happened in a pattern with my brother and I, like on Friday. And I was like, <gasps> I see it. Yeah. I, I relaxed. I got emotionally invested and then, yeah. And so, um, it's so hard to let go of control because I really like, you know, our families teach us so much, mm -hmm. but at a certain point, um, yeah, I think it's just really important to like learn to set boundaries, yeah. um, with them emotionally. Um, and I felt a very stark contrast with, um, like going to the summit and being around the community and I felt so safe to be myself that I was just very lightly triggered into my healing, into releasing some, some deep core upsets that I hadn't felt safe to release. Mm -hmm. And I see, I think, so I think control sometimes for me at least can be like just really wanting to be loved <laughs> and thinking that that's, gonna get me what I want but really I'm I'm just wanting God's love I'm I'm not really I'm not really needing my family's love and I'm needing my own self-love and I'm needing God's love and I think that's um for me that's being a big lesson even as I kind of share I'm kind of integrating that yeah and no, I totally relate to that because I felt the same way at the summit <laughs> like oh I could be totally myself yeah and everyone's going to be cool with it, you know, because it's like nothing but love. And I th I was like low key triggered too. <laughs> I think the whole time yeah. I was yeah. working my feelings. <laughs> like it felt really good because I felt like there were a lot of, like I went deeper in it, like not realizing how much I try to control myself because I'm so, you know, scared that like someone won't love me because, oh, I say something stupid or I do this, you know, like all these um judgments that we have that like you know are not real they're not based in anything and it was nice for me to like get triggered that way and then like realize because you know like when you've been a certain way your whole life it's kind of hard to realize what you're doing sometimes and yeah absolutely yeah and I and I just feel like I really it was such a gift to me in that way because I came home and I had a lot of good conversations with people that I've needed to like put boundaries with and, you know, like just be myself authentically. And, you know, I'm a very like passionate, <laughs> raw person sometimes, like in the way I express myself. And I feel like God's really been showing me that that's okay. Like, you know, like be yourself. It, you don't have to like, hold back these parts of you that, you know, somehow like, you know, you were told way back when <laughs> that it was too much or you're too much. And so it's like, I've tried to like rein it in, like control myself, but right. Yeah. It was so beautiful to just like be myself um, at the summit. And, you know, I, I never, I never felt like I needed, like, it was just a totally different vibe and it was just so good. <laughs> that realization was just yeah. so so good for me so yeah um so I'm really being more intentional of like being more present when I'm interacting and just letting it flow instead of like turning my wheels in my head and try to like, <laughs> like yeah interaction yeah yeah I've been away from my family from a very for a very long time um so I don't feel like I have to like filter quite as much anymore, but I, I absolutely resonate with what you're talking about, having to like think before you speak and 
you know, those kind of things, you know, I definitely don't have the like sense of humor and I don't have this, like, I I've realized lately, I don't have this like calm, relaxed nature. Like I'm, I'm kind of working through this place of safety, like where I can just really be myself and not get like, I don't know, not get offended if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I feel yeah. like I've been like, on guard like wait what was that what did you know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um yeah so it's interesting um yeah so I'm curious like what um for you like um I don't know maybe control like what what are some other areas that that you're kind of working through um I uh, like control maybe you can <laughs> dive into that a little bit yeah no, it was actually like healing this earlier before um, the service started. But uh, so I'm a weightlifter. I'm on I'm on a weightlifting team, and yes. um, my twin flame is my coach, and like that's how I met him. And so we have this like shared life purpose in weightlifting, and I realized like how hesitant I've been just to like be myself because you know most people on this team are not very spiritual. They're definitely not woo woo. <laughs> They're like rugged weightlifters that like to lift heavy and like, which is great. Cause you know, that's who I am too, but yeah, obviously I'm very spiritual as well. And you know, my, my relationship with God feels very intertwined in weightlifting. Like it's a very important part of my union and like, you know, healing and the life purpose. And so like, this morning I felt guided to like pull cards for our team, <laughs> which I've never, nice. I, I've never even thought about it. I just like, it was just like such a like inspirational, like God was like, we're doing this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> nice. Um, but I got really triggered. Like I got really scared. Like, oh my God, what if people think I'm weird? Like I started just like going through this, you know, control. Like that's, that's the way I do it. It's like, mm. I try to like, um, censor myself, yeah. you know, and like hold back to like who I really am. Um, but you know, I did the mirror exercise. I worked through it and I'm like, you know what? Yes, we're going to do this. And nice. so I pulled Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. I pulled some cards. The message was really clear. I made a paste. I made a post on my personal page, you know, tagged my team and that was it. I'm like, that's it. Like the ones that are going to see it, who need to see it, will see it. If they don't like it, you know, that's their upset. And I just felt so like empowered. And it was like the first time where I'm like, oh, okay, God, now I get it. Because I've had so many upsets around this as of late. And it's, and I've realized now it's just been like me holding back. And I really feel like God is calling me to like bring his presence into this sport um in the way that I can at least like with my teammates like you know just like when I show up and the way I show up and like not feel like I have to hold back because you know most people on our team are not gonna like resonate with it um so yeah that was like and I think that's like something that I've been deeply working on in all areas because it's not just like in weightlifting either just like even something like this, you know, like I will be in the background subtly, like trying to like censor and like, oh, what's going to happen next? And what should I say? And I honestly feel like today is like the first time where I'm not like, I'm like just flowing and it feels really nice. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. That's so beautiful. Yeah. I think like fear of judgment and, um, like the fear of people not understanding, like, and not seeing our perspective, like that's something that I struggle with a lot too. And, um, but I also feel like too, like they're, they're on your team for a reason. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that we all are like, we're in those places for a reason to spark something, um, within, because we ultimately, we all know the truth. Like we, you don't, you know, you don't have to, you know, validate your messages that you got, right? Because the people who see it will resonate with it, you know, or otherwise they're just not in the right, the not, not the right, but they're not in a place to receive it. 
Right. Right. So, yeah. yeah. And I did actually get a message from like one of my teammates who I knew, like, I just knew immediately, like, if someone's going to get upset, it's going to be him. Nice. <laughs> um, Cause we have like, we got, we have a lot of Christians on the team. Like it's a very price God centered in that way, but oh, they're, okay. Okay. they're very like, you know, typical Christians. Like if it's not in the Bible, I don't believe it, you know, gotcha. so the, which is fine. Cause you know, I'm Christian. The Bible is a huge part of my, you know, just spiritual, keeping my spiritual hygiene. Like, you know, I yeah. like to connect with, connect with it every day, but obviously I have a different perspective with the teachings of union. You know, I don't, um, but like, you know, they'll call it woo woo, but to me, it's just like, oh, we're just all one <laughs> and God speaks to us in many different ways. Um, so yeah, he messaged and was like, you know, just concerned. Like that was his, like, I'm just concerned that, you know, don't use divination or like something like that. Like, uh, everything you need to know from God is in the Bible. And, you know, and I like, I wasn't, I don't know, like I wasn't triggered. I like, I received it and I'm like, you know, I had to stay true to myself and that was, yeah, um, that was okay. And so I don't know, even that interaction felt good. Cause I, cause even his reaction wasn't, it was loving, but I just don't agree with it. You know, like, but I felt, I don't know. I felt the love behind it. And so honestly, that was nice for me because I think you're right. Like we're all on this team together for a reason. And I, and like, it's such a deep camaraderie. Like, I feel like we've definitely known each other. We've all known each other before. Like maybe we're, we were soldiers together in a past life. Like, sure. I don't know, but like, that's the kind of bond it feels like we were just like in war together and we have bonded together. And nice. I'm like seeing that it's like really safe to be myself. And even if we don't agree, like, we still love each other so much that it like, it doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. Um, and I don't know, like, it just makes me feel very safe and very loved. Uh, and so, yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, it's been nice. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a little emotional. Yeah. Well, I mean, ultimately, right. Like everything is created by God, like the Bible and everything else around us. Right. Yeah. And so I think, I, I think something that we're all learning to heal is like, like the separation, like, should we be eat or eating all organic or non-organ, non-GMO? And like, all of these things are all like rooted in separation. And so it's like, you know, and, and I think, I, I think ultimately like, that's the real upset is that like believing that, se that we could be separate from love, um, mm -hmm. by, by 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 pulling a card deck right like could we really be separate from love by pulling a card deck could that really be like dangerous mm -hmm. right and i think um i i feel like as long as you're really like tapping into god and tapping into source right and and like that being your real intention um you know i, I it wouldn't matter it, like really what you're eating if you choose for it to nourish you and you know like yeah, right so no. I think ultimately <laughs> that's the upset is like yeah. around like like believing that separation is real like you could be harmed by getting a message outside of outside of the bible but ultimately like as we know with the mirror exercise like everybody is a messenger right, right. everybody is a messenger of god we not, we may not always like the messages people give us right but yeah but um so there's always there's always i think a deeper place for us to go when we get those messages to go deeper into our hearts of where we're believing that somewhere we could be separate from god or separate from the truth yeah. um because that can't be true <laughs> yeah so yeah well, what about you i'm curious like what areas Oh like gosh. Control shot showed up. Yeah. There. My, my control stuff comes up in my life purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, because I've been, I've been working as, um, I have a dance school. I was actually in fitness for a while too. It's also how I met my twin. Um, so that's pretty fun that we share that in common, yeah. but, um, but yeah, anyway, 
so yeah, I've been, I have a dance school and, um, and then I have an Ascension coach. Right. And so just been really working through this, uh, yeah, just really working through like just the fear of being my authentic self as a coach and, you know, letting go of this business that like, you know, it, it's always given me a sense of pride. Like, yeah, I run it, you know, I'm a ballet teacher, I run it, you know, like, um, yeah. <laughs> it's like a very like respectable thing, but like, like Ascension coaching is just so different that people I feel like won't receive it. And so that's kind of what I'm really working through. And then, yeah. And then, and then just like, yeah, really working through this today of like, okay, well, how do I let go of control and really let God guide me, you know, um, because I've been working through this for a couple of years now, um, been trying to get like an admin and get more support so that I can actually start coaching and actually be available. Um, cause I kind of have a full-time job like already. <laughs> so, um, so that's where I'm having to really let go of control and let God guide me. Um, and really putting God first, um, and allowing, uh, allowing that to surface and come through, um, I'm still fumbling around a little bit, um, it, just because I have like a full, a full plate and I'm doing a lot of self-care. Um, so yeah. yeah, there's like my self-care, my business, and then my coaching business. It's like, it's like three jobs. <laughs> 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 so, and I'm like, you know, and I've, I've built this business, but it's like, gosh, like, how do I build an ascension? Like I was sitting down with us yesterday. I'm like, how in the world do I build an ascension coaching business? I have no idea. Like, uh, like I spent eight years building a school. Yeah. So, woo. Well. So letting go of control. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm just going to, I was just like, it's a process. Like you spent the eight years building the school you know, yeah. you have to have faith that it'll be the same. It'll be the same. <laughs> yeah. Same. If you build it, they will come. Yeah, you'll know. <laughs> we'll know exactly what to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it'll come together like naturally, but, um, I'm definitely, you know, I'm definitely going to learn some new skills and, um, yeah. Yeah. Cause brick and mortar is just so different than building something online. So right. yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that's... it's so different. It's so different yeah <laughs> like all that is scary just like doing like moving into uncharted territory I totally understand that part like something yeah. and I feel like that's how my whole life has been ever since I you know physically met my twin flame like I just feel like I've been challenged in all these areas <laughs> that I like never you know never thought were possible or never even thought I wanted and uh, it is very scary. Just like being a person who like very analytical. I love plans. <laughs> I love mapping things out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I learned very early on in this journey though, like let go of that. <laughs> I am no longer the map maker. <laughs> that is God. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, I totally get it. Like it's, it's really been a learning curve to just like wake up every morning and be like, all right, I'm just going to do whatever I feel called to do by God. And I'm not going to plan ahead. <laughs> like, yeah, I have general, general ideas and dreams like you do, but it's like the, that, that, like that stuff would also really trip me up. Like the everyday, uh, you know, like what's going to happen next sort of, <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely like living that as an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm living that almost every month, every day, like, I plan everything out, um, like daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly for all of my finances, you know, like, um, and so it's really interesting. Um, so, I, so I love what Abir was saying about like attachment, mm -hmm. because I think that those two really go together. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. Um, yeah. So what I was going to say is like, I remember like right before the summit, I had to, um, I had to put together some, like all my new programs. I had to resell like all my new programs. So I basically was like, okay, I'm just going to set a date 
and give them a discount like I normally do. And like, and I'm just gonna let go. I remember putting in my thing, I, I put a dollar amount of like what I really was hoping for. And it just, it happened all very organically and naturally. I was like, okay, God, I'm going to put this on here as income received. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to let go. And, mm -hmm. and it, it, I literally manifested that amount the next day. That's awesome. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah. thanks God. I'm supported. So, um, and, um, Sarah, I'm on a call. This is recorded. Um, a few more minutes, about five. Okay. Sorry. This is my daughter. She's <laughs> it's um, all good. very needing me, needing me for a second, but, um, but anyway, but yeah, so like God really does work fast when you let go of attachment and you trust. So I'm like, I don't know why I'm in this place where I'm like, I don't know how God's going to support me, you know, like, uh, yeah. because he always does, you know, he all, like God always supports me and I was able to get yeah, there and back safely. And, um, yeah. So I, I feel like, I feel like the attachment and control are like hands in hand. So for me, I think it's like really looking to the places that I feel attached mm -hmm. and mistrust. Cause the only reason that attachment is there is because of like mistrust. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it's like doing the mirror side. Okay. Where am I not trusting myself? Where am I not building that rapport with myself and my choices and to really honor like my highest choice, <laughs> you wow. know? So, or even like not feeling like you're worthy of it. Cause I feel like that's a lot of yeah. why I get yeah. attached to like certain things. Cause I'm like, there's a part of me that I'm healing. That's like, still like, can't believe that, you know, yeah. I'm worthy of all this and I'm yeah. worthy of like, all the desires that haven't manifested yet, you know? Right. And well, like, I don't have to figure it all out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think it's safe to just really like, I don't know, after that trip, I, f I feel like that was just felt so good to be able to manifest what I needed when I needed it and um, to be fully supported. And usually I'd be like, uh, I'd have a, like, I'd be short in some way. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't at all this trip, which was like so amazing to like not be short. Yeah. Um, but it's like, so then it gave me the courage to write out like those things that I desire. These are like my win, win, win lists. Mm -hmm. And then I can just like, okay, I'm just going to trust that. Okay. That, that God will help me save for these other things. And I started, I started saving this week. I'm like, so yeah, so it's good just to, yeah. to really start to trust that. Yeah. That I'm, I'm totally supported, you know? Mm. Yeah. Amen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's a process and, yeah. you know, I think that's what being an entrepreneur has really helped me learn is that I will be supported. Like even as a single mom, I'll be supported. It's been. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah yeah god loves us yeah <laughs> do you do you have children uh no my twin flame does yes okay two. i don't have any of like my own okay yeah but yeah. uh yeah there's been a lot a lot around healing you know upsets like because you know it's like it's, i guess like there's that's another thing. Like, I feel like I've had to like control my relationship with them because like, they're not necessarily like my kids. I mean, they are in a way, but like, yeah, they're yours. They have, their, they have a biological mom. And, like, sure. Sure. That's yeah. their mom. And it's like, you know, here I come <laughs> like twin flame. And so there's just been a lot of like, you know, I feel like I've had to like really control this, uh, the relationship there as well. And like not really giving into like how much I actually love them and, you know, feeling like I have to like hold back because, you know, it's still very fresh. Like, you know, I, I just met him a year ago. And so there's still a lot of like healing to do around <laughs> all of this, yeah, um, which is great. Like it's I'm so grateful for it. But um, yeah. 
know, it was really triggering for me to meet these children that I feel like I've always known and I like, and I love them so much. And like, we all instantly kind of like, like they were all drawn to me in their own way. And I feel like of I have a, a relationship, like a unique relationship with each of them. And I would like hide from it almost, which I feel like is a kind of controlling thing too. Like not really like, like just being honest about how much I love them. And it's not even like, it has anything to do with like my twin flame, but just me and them, like this soul yeah. and this soul. Like yeah. who really That's cool. love one another. And I don't know what it's going to look like. Like I said, it's like in process still. I mean, I have faith that like what I feel in my heart will manifest, you know, but I'm in the process of the that manifestation. And so like, you know, because my twin flame is married. And so like, there's, there's a lot of <laughs> healing to, to do. Yeah. And, um, but like, we're best friends. I don't know. Like, it's like, I just have a lot of faith that I'm in the, I'm moving in the right direction. Um, but like just being able to <laughs> let go of control in this area has been huge. Cause when I first met him, like I would just break out in hives <laughs> because I wow. was just so triggered by like, oh, this is my twin flame and he's married and he has three kids. Like it was like uh, very like still like it's heartbreaking. Yeah. 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 There's been a lot of heartbreak to heal. Um, and I was just like so mad at him, you know, when I first, uh, first met him and, uh, but you know, I'm in a much better place. I'm not breaking out in hives like <laughs> anymore. <laughs> um, so that's a great sign. And like, we have an awesome, solid friendship and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I just know that God, like I'm right where I need to be. God has it figured out. And I don't have to control myself with him. I don't have to control myself with the kids. Like I can just be me and, you know, love myself fully and not feel like I have to like hold back because of the situation, like what the situation looks like Yeah. On the outside. So it's. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a process. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like a process to work through. Yeah. Yeah. And you can really like, just accept yourself where you are in that process of healing yeah. and yeah I think people relate a lot to um you know like 30 party situations and kids being involved and you know um yeah yeah but it's important yeah just yeah just love them unconditionally and trust that yeah just trust God to just like bring love into all of those places in your soul that need more love yeah. and yeah I mean, honestly, it's perfect for me because like the level of healing that it has, you know, brought like is truly a blessing. So, yeah. That yeah. That's just, the one thing. Yeah. About the journey. It just helps you heal. Yeah. And like, but that's when like, it's like where I can just like let go of the control. Like that's where I feel like I can really see it at, for the love that it is, you know, and like, and it doesn't even matter at that point. Like when, <laughs> when when it transcends truly really surrender and just yeah. feel the love you know like so yeah the the letting go of attachment <laughs> that's key <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah of like how it looks and how it's supposed to unfold and yeah 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 ah <sighs> well that's beautiful <laughs> well I look forward to like getting to know you more and like hearing more of your story and like that's really fun yeah same, yeah. 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 I remember I remember you from the wedding dancing in your beautiful dress. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dancing was so good for my soul. <laughs> I know. I know. I've been working through a lot of like injuries and stuff. Just my back has been a mess because I've been like holding on to resistance and like anyway, so um, so yeah, it's that's the first time I've actually been able to dance in like a really long time. So yeah, my back's finally healing. So yeah, it's always yeah, it's a it's definitely yeah, definitely in process, but um, it's all for good. Yeah, yeah. I just had like a lot of emotions stored in my back, and <laughs> <laughs> now it now it's all coming up for release. Yeah, good. So yeah, but good. um. 
Yeah. It was so healing. Yeah. I agree. Well, yeah. Well, this has been lovely. Is there anything else you'd like to share? This feels complete for me. Is there anything else you'd like to share? No, it feels complete as well for me. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining me and yeah, it was wonderful. So have fun. <laughs> All right. Take good care. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.